Route 66. Was it abandoned and forgotten? Today we're going to take a look and look at the abandoned places on Route 66, the closed businesses, and some of the forgotten past. Now this is Texoma, Oklahoma we're looking at right now. And I believe there's a population currently of about 43 people. But as you'll see, it is a long ways from its heyday back in the day when uh, Route 66 was going strong. This building right here I'm taking a look at, I'm not really sure where, some kind of storefront maybe? That did have the windows for display it looked like. But there are uh, not a lot of businesses in this town, but there is a, there is a few. But I wanted to show you, there's also some beauty sometimes in the uh, abandoned or closed or closed places. There's, it's part of the history of Route 66. And that's what I wanted to share. But I also want to let you know that Route 66 is also kicking and definitely uh, alive and doing well. This is kind of the abandoned section or abandoned sections within many of the towns. But there's also tons of very active roadside attractions and just a lot of fun stuff to see that you need to spend time and look for. Now this is the Magnolia service station. Fortunately, it's a pretty bad state of repair, but I just, it is a historic building actually. But we're just kind of driving around uh, Texola here and just, some of the stuff you'll see is just totally overgrown, just a mix. But you know, there's kind of a beauty in some of the stuff too. Now there's one of the businesses, I believe it's, it's working still now. This is like an empty building right here with the old truck out front. Old house with no doors or windows on it. I don't know, there's just something that kind of draws me to seeing some of Look at this, you can't even get to the porch if you wanted to. Looks like it's been plywood off. It's got like five, six foot tall weeds. 